Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, our six-day heat wave came to an end today. We got some really nice weather on tap as we make the transition to August and through the entire first week of the month. Now, we're still pretty dry. We will get at least some scattered rain tomorrow and then kind of dry out for the back half of the weekend. It's dry and hot in Tokyo, where it's the lunch hour in Tokyo right now. We're expecting a high of 90 uh, this afternoon under mostly sunny skies. A little haze out there. It's a live picture right now of uh, the Tokyo area. We were low to mid 80s today. A couple of upper 80s. Owensboro and Madisonville came in at 88. 87 Evansville Henderson. And we could be up in this ballpark on Sunday before a second cool front comes through and knocks the heat and humidity down again for the early part of next week. But nothing but false returns around the radar uh, this evening. But later tomorrow morning, we'll see our first wave of scattered showers and thunder showers come on in. We had that wave last night. Didn't get much rain here in the metro. The heaviest was west of the Wabash, especially up in Edwards County. Just a trace of rain at the airport, a tenth to a quarter of an inch through uh, parts of the city of Evansville, even less in Henderson, Owensboro, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch, but the uh, the jackpot went to areas to our northwest, just north of Crossville in White County, over two inches, but look at this up near West Salem, that's an estimated four to five inches of rain with those storms uh, last night, very electrical storms too, so Edwards County doesn't need the rain, but many of us do, and we'll at least get some in a scattered fashion tomorrow. It's been a beautiful Friday after 5 in Owensboro, winding down now along the riverfront. Very pleasant conditions. Still a lot of folks uh, out and about. And here's uh, downtown Evansville, our superior ag tower camera looking out towards the river on a mainly clear evening. The temperature now down to 73. The dew points at 67 with a north breeze at 5 miles per hour. About 70 to 75 across the area. We're going to drop another 10 degrees and wind up between 60 and 65 by daybreak tomorrow morning. So we're quiet right now, but storms are firing up here in northern Missouri, and these are going to come at us in a weakening fashion later tomorrow morning after daybreak. That'll be our first round of showers and thunder showers. So Future Tracker increases the clouds overnight, leading edge of the showers getting into Wayne County at around 7 a.m., and then they'll continue in a scattered fashion through the morning hours. Uh, heavier rain maybe around lunchtime. Later in the afternoon, highs will range from the upper 70s in our northern fringe, 80 to 85 in the metro, and it could top 90 again in our far southern counties, talking southern uh, Muhlenberg County, and the threat for a little severe weather in the southwestern fringe along the trade water from Sturgis down to Dawson Springs with that second wave of storms. First one kind of falls apart early afternoon. There's the second one setting up late in the afternoon, quickly pushing away to the south. The rest of Saturday night is quiet. We see some clearing on Sunday. Just a few spotty showers developing in the afternoon. A mid, maybe upper 80s ahead of the second front, but that comes through Sunday night, and then it's cooler and even less humid on Monday with plenty of sunshine to get uh, the work week started. But for the overnight hours tonight, increasing clouds, a cool 60 to 64. Clouds, some sun at times tomorrow, but two waves of scattered showers and thunder showers coming through. One later in the morning, diminishing early afternoon, then late afternoon diminishing at night. 76 far north, 91 far south, low 80s here in the metro. Seven-day forecast, we see some clearing on Sunday. That'll be the better weekend day. Just a few spotty showers popping up. 86 for the high. And then look at next week. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Overnight lows, 60 to 65. Humidity is off the board and just slight rain chances uh, returning. So hopefully we'll get some needed rain tomorrow and hopefully it'll come at an opportune time. And then once we get that behind us, August starting off on a beautiful note. It's not going to feel like August at all. And Friday night's not over with. Yet. Yeah, it's really nice out there. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah.